a recent discovery at Cleopatra's tomb in Egypt has sent shockwaves through the historical community. The findings have forced scholars to reevaluate their understanding of the famous Egyptian queen and the political climate of her time, what was found, and how will it affect our understanding of Cleopatra? And her rule will this discovery lead to further excavations and revelations. Let's dive deep into the facts about Cleopatra's tomb at Cleopatra's tomb. Archaeologists made a startling discovery that might alter history as we know it after months of digging. They discovered a mysterious tomb with a small golden box with strange markings. When they opened the box, they were filled with anticipation, but what they discovered inside was far more terrifying than they could have imagined. Could this find rewrite history find out? What new archaeological work experts have been doing at an ancient Egyptian temple near Alexandria the Greatest? Significant discovery of the 21st century has just been made by an Egyptian archaeologist, the Egyptian Dominican archaeological mission led by archaeologist Kathy Martinez of the University of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic recently reported findings of a sizable tunnel while examining the Temple of Tapatorus Magna, which is situated west of Alexandria, Egypt's second largest city. She notes that the tunnel has a staggering length of 4,281 feet or more than 12 football. Fields, if compared science, is quite excited about the discovery since it may lead to the discovery of Cleopatra's and Mark Anthony's graves, the final Egyptian. Queen Golden Tongue Mummy, during these excavations, they uncovered something that is both unusual and terrifying at the same time during the course of their investigation of a burial site that had only very recently been uncovered. They made this discovery a mummy that was over two zero 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 years old and had a tongue made of gold was found by archaeologists. This is not to say that the mummy suddenly came to life and started impressing them with its abilities of oratory persuasion after this point in time, rather. It indicates that the mummy had a real golden tongue, which was a reproduction instructed from poorly formed and shining golden foil, an international group of archaeologists from the Dominican Republic of Egypt, led by the renowned archaeologist who was in charge of the excavation, who discovered the mummy, the temple at Tapasaurus Magna, that housed the mummies, was dedicated to Osiris, the ancient Egyptian lord of the Underworld Osiris was revered by Greek officials in Egypt who respected the Count Ptolemy Asetu was one of the Ptolemaic descendants of Alexander the e Great who ruled Egypt as a Hellenistic state for nearly 300 years after Alexander the Great's conquest of Egypt. In the 4th century BC, Tapasaurus Magna was a minor community that existed in antiquity. Why exactly the mummy was endowed with the golden tongue is a question that cannot be satisfactorily answered the individuals who discovered they think that Osiris was able to communicate verbally with the deceased individual through the tongue that was connected to their body so that they might move on to the next stage of their journey after death. This is, however, entirely speculative because there are no written documents that can identify the individual in question or provide evidence that he would have had anything. To say that an Egyptian deity would have been interested in listening to this is the case because the individual in question is not known to have left any written records. One of the most extraordinary discoveries that have been made in the 16 new burial holes that were just recently discovered by Kathleen Martinez and her Dominican Egyptian team was a female mummy that had been wrapped in a coffin length. Death mask covering her entire body. This discovery was made by Kathleen Martinez and her Dominican Egyptian team. In addition, the researchers found the skeletal remains of two other mummies that had been housed in wooden coffins. Both these mummies had been preserved in the same manner the mummy that had the golden tongue was an extremely unusual discovery. Still, it is just one of the intriguing treasures that has a recounting of events that occurred in Kathleen Martinez's life. Kathleen Martinez began her career as an archaeologist in 2002, not long after she received her master's degree in archaeology prior to that she had been educated as a lawyer and continues to do so on a part-time basis. In addition, she began her investigations in Egypt at the age of 15 when she became deeply obsessed with the life and times of the legendary Cleopatra, the last pharaoh of Egypt, and cloistered nun in the book in search of Clay Martinez traveled to Egypt on her own and did not receive any assistance from any organization prior to her first visit there. She did not have any contacts or connections in the country. She came here to search for the location of Cleopatra's lost burial place, which she believes will not be found inside a tomb, but rather in a burial shaft inside of a temple dedicated to Osiris and or Isis, who is perhaps the most well known of all the ancient Egyptian gods. She came here to search for the location of Clea Martinez embarked on a journey to Egypt. Martinez was positive that if she merely identified the appropriate temple, she would find the mummies of Cleopatra and her concert someplace inside. She believed that this was the only way to 
recover Cleopatra's lost burial spots it is good knowledge that Cleopatra and Mark Anthony identified with these characters from Egyptian mythology and felt a connection to them Martinez was confident that once she found the right temple she would come upon the mummies of Cleopatra as well as the concert she had performed Martinez was able to secure a meeting with Egypt Minister of Antiquities and renowned Egyptologist Dr. Zahi Hawaz on her first trip to Egypt. Dr. Hawaz is responsible for overseeing the country's archaeological sites and museums. Martinez was confident that if she could simply find the right temple, she would be able to locate these. Mummies Martinez was able to secure an appointment with Dr. Zahi Hawaz during her very first visit to Egypt while at that location Martinez was studying the historical artifacts of the country for his research project Martinez was successful in obtaining a permit that would allow him to tour various temples over a period of two months despite the fact that such excess is typically rejected by independent researchers. Martinez was able to do this because of his connections inside the temple community despite the fact that Martinez only had a short amount of time to look. She was able to make a discovery that was going to significantly impact the way the rest of her life would unfold in 2016, she granted an interview with a news agency during which she discussed the area of archaeological study. She stated that two months is a trivial amount of time Martinez was successful in obtaining a permit that would grant him permission to tour. I was able to find two previously secret chambers in the Temple of Tapasiris Magna after Mark Anthony had returned to the Dominican Republic. These chambers had been kept hidden away from view in the past. I have a sneaking suspicion that one of these chambers is the location of the burial that he and Cleopatra shared Martinez's efforts to convince higher-ups at the University of Santo Domingo to grant financial support for future archaeological excavation at Tapasiris. Magna were fruitful, and he was able to accomplish his goal. The tunnel is deemed a geometric miracle. A statement that was issued by the Egyptian Ministry of Fui, Tourism and Antiquities explained that the recent discovered tunnel is carved out of rock is located 13 meters underground and is 2 meters tall. According to the release, the head of the mission, Dr. Kathleen Martinez, explained that initial studies indicate that the architectural design of discovered tunnel is very similar to the design of the Ubelines tunnel in Greece. The release went on to state that Dr. Martinez explained the similarities between the two tunnels. According to the Evening Standard, Dr. Mustafa Waziri, Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Archaeology, referred to the hidden tunnel as a geometric miracle. The tunnel has only been partially investigated thus far because a portion of it is buried beneath the waters of the Mediterranean Sea, so there is still a portion of the tunnel that is yet to be discovered in 2005. Martinez and her team made a history by being the first group of Latin American archaeologists to be granted permission to conduct excavations on Egyptian land. Martinez is the leader of the team. The location of Cleopatra's burial sites have not yet been located, so it is unknown if Martinez will ever uncover it. Martinez made history. There is not a single piece of hard evidence to suggest that she was laid to rest in the temple at Tapasiris. Magna, despite this, many experts do not discount the possibility that she and Mark Anthony are buried at the location. The notion put up by Martinez is, is met with a great deal of suspicion from a significant number of Egyptologists and archaeologists, including Dr. Howers. In spite of this, the magnitude of Martinez's accomplishments over the nearly two decades, but she is devoted to investigating the Tapasiris Magna site is indisputable and cannot be disputed. Since they began their digs in 2005, she and her crew have found hundreds of artifacts. Martinez is a pioneer in the field of Tapasiris Magna site research. Many artifacts found in the tunnel owe significant number of what are now known to be referred to as important items were found in the tunnel according to the information provided in the release. Two heads made of alabaster were unearthed near the temple. One of the heads is for a person who lived during the Ptolemaic period, while the other head is most likely a statue of Abu the monster in a previous dig at the same site's coins were unearthed but were engraved with the names and portraits of Anthony and Cleopatra. Additionally, statues, some of which depict the goddess Isis, were found. And all of these discoveries are considered to be significant artifacts, according to Dr. Zahi Hawaz, a former head of Egypt, Supreme Council of Antiquities. If this tunnel leads to Cleopatra's tomb, then the discovery made by Martinez and her team could end up being considered the most important discovery of the 21st century. Cleopatra's tomb has not been found yet among them are a bust of Cleopatra, as well as a number of antique coins from her historical period that bear her likeness on them. They also discovered evidence that proved the temple's base had been constructed during the time of Ptolemy IV, who governed Egypt from 221 BC to 204 BC. Totally IV controlled Egypt from 221 BC to 204 BC all happened during Totemi. IV's reign over Egypt was that which lasted from 221 BC to 204 BC. Hope you 
enjoy the video. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below if you enjoy this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification. Before leaving, thanks for watching.